Right now, there is a critical need for blood to help the tornado victims. Today just happens to be the News 9 Oklahoma Blood Institute annual blood drive. Our Erica Lee joins us live at OETA. Erica, how's it going? Yeah, I couldn't have come at a better time and the mobile blood drive just wrapped up a couple of minutes ago and we are so grateful for everyone who came out and were willing to help donate. Over the weekend, the OBI sent 13 blood units to Kentucky to help the victims of the devastating tornadoes. It also supported 17 patients who were transferred to Tennessee from Kentucky. And this is the first natural disaster that we've been able to support. So again, it just feels in the Christmas season when you want to be grateful for all the uh, wonderful things that go on, the amazing gift of life and health that uh, somebody here in this room we're going to take that blood unit, yeah, we're going to package it up, we're going to label it, we're going to ship it, just like Santa Claus. OBI officials say Monday's blood drive was a success. A great turnout for a great cause, and it's it's always good to see the numbers the way they are right here today. Blood donor Jack Atkins says it was a very easy process. At 64, you can still give blood and go about and do everything you'd normally do, so why not? He said donating blood made him feel like he was making a difference. You've got to give blood. It's too important to help people when there are so many things that you can do that cost money. It's free to give blood. You don't have to have reach in your pocket. You don't have to give anybody anything but your arm and donate a little blood. While today's blood drive may be over, the OBI says it's never too late to schedule an appointment and donate on your own time. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, Erica Lee, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.